The US-based Committee to Protect Journalists says since 2007, 23 journalists have fled Sri Lanka after what they felt was intense intimidation related to their work. Two of the journalists who left recently worked for the Sunday Leader, a newspaper set up by Lal Vikranatunga and his brother Lasanta. We decided to concentrate on corruption, uh, non-adherence to good governance, and then uh, human rights. Uh, the paper became very popular within a short period of time. On January 8, 2009, Lasanta was travelling to work in the morning traffic when he noticed something strange. Four motorcycles, eight riders, they were dressed in black. They followed him from his home, barricaded his vehicle, put the motorcycles in front, broke the side window. They didn't use a gun, they used what is called a bolt gun, so that there is no spent bullet or any other evidence remaining. He was shot dead on his way to office. No one has been tried for La Santa's murder. Since then, Lull says journalists are less willing to criticise the government. Some are abducted in white vans. Some are officially threatened quite openly. And some get anonymous letters written in blood or showing them as traitors. So that sentiment is complete. Nobody wants to risk it anymore.